Hey guys, NTL here. What's going on? Just want to start off by saying, don't forget to check out our last video covering the top 10 best anime to watch if you like sports. There will be a link to that video in the top right corner of the screen, in addition to our playlist designed just for you. You guessed right, we're back with more great content for you guys, and in today's video we'll be covering the highly anticipated top 10 anime upcoming sequels you should watch, releasing sometime this year. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turning on those post notifications lets you stay updated with every new drop. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump right in. Kicking this list off is the highly anticipated season 2 of Tiger and Bunny, written by Sunrise and illustrated by Sakakibara Mizuki. If you did not know, season 1 first debuted in 2011, meaning it's been on hiatus for more than a decade. The series follows veteran hero Kotetsu T. Kaburagi and ace rookie Barnaby Brooks Jr. who go by the aliases Tiger and Bunny. Season 1 has swept audiences across the world off their feet with its release, quickly rising the ranks becoming a fan favorite. So much so, that there have been petitions over the years requesting its return. Although Season 1 left much of the world to be explored, we also suggest checking out the feature film which serves as a sequel, Tiger and Bunny The Rising. I personally cannot wait to see what Season 2 has to offer and I'm sure that this is one the fans are really going to enjoy. Following up at number 9 is the second season of The Devil is a Part-Timer. This series is another that has had quite a long break with season 1 being released in 2013 marking 9 years since its debut. Writer and illustrator Wagahara returns to the scene bringing us an exciting and rich new drama revolving around Satan and his hilarious adventures within Tokyo, alongside some of our favorite characters as well as some new faces. Season 1 was such a great show and excelled in rolling out jokes providing tons of laughter and an overall great watching experience, setting the bar quite high for its sequel. There is so much to look forward to this season, I cannot wait for my socks to be knocked off again by this amazing series. Next up in the 8th spot on this list is none other than Season 5 of Jojo's Bizarre Adventures Stone Ocean, Part 2, written and illustrated by Hirohiko Araki. Being a series that has one of the most dedicated and loyal fan bases within the community, JoJo's has received an amazing amount of support resulting in its continuous animation of the highly praised manga series. This installment is a six story arc which centers on Jotaro's daughter Jolene being framed. We see her serving her sentence as she confronts characters such as the popular Dio Brando and Enrico Pucci. Stone Ocean Part 2 is one that the fans have been holding their excitement back for, and if you like Part 1, then you'll surely love Part 2. Seventh in line is the fourth season of Overlord. Writer and illustrator Mariyama once again brings us on the journey of Momonga and his great tomb of Nazarick's conquest of the new world. Season 4 returns with the cast we fell in love with, bringing back popular fan favorites such as the Overseer of Guardians, Albedo, Guardian and Nazarick Defense Commander Demiurge, and Head Butler of the Tomb, Sebastian. Based on where we left off last, this upcoming season is expected to be one that will not be easily forgotten. I personally cannot wait for the return of this highly addictive show and learn the outcome of certain events that took place within the season 3 finale. If you have not already caught up on this series, I highly suggest you to do so as it is a definitive must watch. Classroom of the Elite, written and illustrated by Siogo Kinugasa, lands in the 6th spot for top upcoming anime sequels. This series deserves much more recognition in our opinion sitting as one of the most interesting shows to be released within the past few years. This series centers on the point of view of Kiyotake Ayana Koji, an antisocial youth who although being an intellectual genius, enjoys his personal space. Due to this seemingly erratic behavior, he gets placed within Class D, the lowest ranking class in a school where hierarchy dictates privilege and authority. The premise behind this series is one that is original and very interesting to follow along and I cannot wait to see what season 2 has in store for us. This highly anticipated sequel is one that has been on our radar for quite some time that you will not want to miss out on. At number 5 is season 6 of the hit series My Hero Academia. Writer and illustrator Horikoshi brings us back to UA High School, building on the ever increasing tension between Deku and Shigaraki, sparking their inevitable confrontation. There is so much to look forward to this season, and if you read the manga, you know exactly what I'm talking about. From where we left off in season 5, there are many unanswered questions I'm sure will be addressed within the first half of this upcoming season. 
Season 6, which is slated for release sometime in October of this year, will bring everything we have seen in the anime thus far to a completely new level. And I can't wait to see some of these scenes being animated in color on screen. In fourth place is season 5 of the sports series that has taken the genre by storm Haikyuu. This series is one that has been building a lot of traction within the past few years with good reason, providing not only a rich storyline but breathtaking visual art and animation. Without spoiling much, all there is to say is that season 5 will more than likely introduce one of the greatest and challenging adversaries that Hinata has faced till now. Haikyuu is a series near and dear to the hearts of its many fans across the world and I am really looking forward to the rest of the journey that Furudate takes us on. The third most highly anticipated sequel on this list is the second season of Tokyo Revengers written and illustrated by Ken Waiku. Tokyo Revengers is a series that has skyrocketed in fame and popularity within the past few years, with season 1 being released in mid-2021. The story centers around Hanagaki Takemichi, a young adult who gets a redo in life to improve its eventual and unfortunate outcome. While on his journey to save his ex-girlfriend who is dead in the future, we follow his infiltration into the Tokyo Manji Gang, in a desperate attempt to rise the ranks in the hopes of altering her fate. Tokyo Revengers provides a rich and versatile cast, including fan favorites Mikey and Draken, while focusing on a storyline that not only engages you as a viewer, but makes you look forward to Takemichi's success. Coming in second place is the upcoming Season 2 of the long-awaited series, The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you didn't watch our video covering the top 10 anime you must watch if you love Isekai, you should, as it goes over many of the reasons why this show also ranks as number 2 on this list. Yusagi returns and develops further into the world following the exploits of Naofumi, Raptalia, and Philo, and the heroes of the world known as Cardinal Heroes, in their struggle to save the world. Something to look forward to this season is the exploration of the other dimension and their heroes known as Vassal Heroes. This season has been highly anticipated with season 1 having been released in the earlier half of 2019, making it a 3 year hiatus. This is one you won't want to miss out on, so grab your popcorn and look forward to the next installment of this great series. The number one most anticipated sequel on this list, as you might have guessed it, is the final season of Bleach, which will be animating the Thousand Year Blood War arc, bringing the story of Bleach to its end. Having been cancelled more than a decade ago, fans have continuously petitioned over the years for its inevitable return. And boy, did all that hard work pay off. The love and support Bleach fans have contributed, even without its ongoing production, is simply amazing. I predict this season will do extremely well, as this arc has been recognized as the best the Bleach manga has to offer. Mark your calendars for its release date scheduled for October this year. Writer and illustrator Kubo just last year released a special one-shot chapter which centers on an event called the Console Reisai, taking place every 12 years, where all the officers ranked lieutenant or higher are to attend. The ending of this chapter leaves a lot of unanswered questions begging to wonder, is Kubo planning a return with a sequel to Bleach centering on the next generation of Soul Reapers? Well, that pretty much wraps up our list. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to check out our last one by clicking the link on the screen. And as always, it's never too late to like, comment, and subscribe to give us clues as to some videos you guys would be interested in.